What's up, people? It's your girl, Amoni Jemfua, and you're welcome to my YouTube channel. Please, if you are new here, kindly hit the subscribe button, turn on the post notification bell so that any video that I post, you'll be the first person to have it. And of course, hitting the subscribe button is free of charge. So please, kindly hit the subscribe button for me. And as you can see, I just closed from church and I decided to shoot a video because this thing have been in mind for a long time now. I've always been planning on doing this, but as you all know, I'm in school, so things always come across, then I stop it. But today, I decided to do this video and talk about a whole lot of stuff. I mean, that happened way back as it is. Not saying it for saying sake, but saying it for me also. I mean, get some lessons out of it. And as you can see, I'm at the balcony of my hostel because um, the hostel manager is, we having a problem inside, so he's fixing it for us. So you'll be hearing some noise at the background. Please pardon me for that. And also, the story that I'm about to say, I'm just saying it for us to, um, I mean, take some lessons out of it. No strings attached. So, you watching me, or if you think um, you are involved in this story, please don't take it personal, because it is past, past and gone, yeah. So, as we all can see from the caption, this is about the most stupid thing I've ever done. The most stupid thing I've ever done. So, as I said, it's an SHS story. And when I went to school, before everything, that school wasn't the school, like my preferred choice. Though I chose that school, but I was just using it to fill the forms, you mean? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> so I chose that school and fortunately, unfortunately for me, that was where I was placed. So I had no other option than to go to that school. And when I went there, I had no friend. I mean, I had no friends, but I had people that I like I had people that I talk with. So as um I was in Labu form two, let me say it that way. I had friends and among those friends the one that um, I really had conversation with or I really tell that her my story was a particular girl let's use figure A for her so figure A became my friend and yeah we, we were moving we we're having nice moments and stuff um, so I think second year, second semester or second term, we were in the class and things started happening to our friendship. Things started happening to our friendship because um, people started, I don't know if they were having a bad mentality about me or whatsoever that they call it. And as I said, it's a, this story was to be my, the saddest story, the saddest thing that has ever happened to me. But as I'm saying, it's an old story, so it's past and gone, so no strings attached. <laughs> so, I was in the classroom, and my certain partner wrote something. I saw her writing something to my figure A. What is going on here? And before that, I was having some small, small issues with figure A, but it wasn't that serious. Because I really liked her. And one thing about me is... I don't have a sister all my siblings are males so whenever I come across a friend I take that person as a sister so that figure a was so dear to me and we became friends we were friends let me say it that way so my certain partner wrote something to figure a and figure a also replied so we had to change our class and move to the other class and when we moved to the other class figure a handed over this note to me and huh, this was uh, yeah let me, I don't know how to put it I opened the letter 
and it was full of shit. Let me say it that way. It was full of shit. Like, okay. And because I must say I was young at that time, I was at the age of I think I was 17. No, I was 16 by then. So um I read the note and I can't see I can't repeat it. So I read this notes and I was like I was so down. So I was like, what is wrong with me? I, I see nothing wrong with me. Why is she saying this? I called my mom, explained everything to her, and she was like, now I've not noticed this thing about you, so don't mind them. And I was like, all right. So, figure A, um, she started giving me a gap. And that gap, I don't think it was because of that letter or that note, but I realized everything after completing school, but I had a fair knowledge about what was going on. I knew where it was coming from, but I didn't want to confront, confront anybody. So, um, I was in the room and another figure B. So figure A is my friend and figure B is my friend's friend, if you get me that way. So figure B came, she, she would come to my room. I went to a girl's school. Figure B will come to my room. Esther, I need this. Esther, I need this. I'll give this thing to her. I'll did I'll give that thing that she's asking for to her. And she will go. She will come back in maybe the next day or so. And as we all know, we were all in the senior high school. We were not permitted to go home anytime that we want. So it's like the thing that your parents will bring to you, you have to, I mean, manage it so that it won't finish in the middle of the semester or the term because there will know whether you're going to get some until your parents visit you but i'll be like no take it no take it take it so one day she came and i was like ah figure b like i think he, he, it's too much or something like so i didn't even say it in that way i was like can you try this person too because she is also a friend then out of nowhere I went to class the following day figure a who was my friend was giving me attitude I was like hi she'll be like hello like she'll give me a straight face you, you see that thing so I was worried because I've taken her as my sister everything and I'm a quiet type of person so my classmates misinterpreted that and took it as I'm an introvert that's what happened so some didn't like me some also were cool with me so figure a was also giving me attitude and i was so worried figure b will come to me and she'll be like hey esther how are you not knowing she was the cause of that attitude that figure a was giving to me and i think she was we were all young at the time so she also didn't think critically about it yeah so she also took it personal figure b went to tell figure a that um because she's not having money i've been giving him her attitude i disgraced her in our room which wasn't so so it's like i just i was just frustrated and i was sad Every day that I will go to class, my routine will be like either I will go to the dining hall or I won't go. It got to a time that I was not even going to the dining hall because I'll go there and be on the same table. I won't feel comfortable. So every break time, I'll just go to the library, take some graphics and read. Then I come back to the classroom. So I'll eat before I come to the classroom. I was thinking about those shit. Like I was thinking about it almost all the time. So. I was there and it was examination was approaching and I was still thinking about this thing instead of me learning and getting good grades for that semester so the stupid thing comes in here <laughs> the stupid thing comes in here once again I was thinking about them I couldn't write the end of term exams the stupid thing comes in here once again 
I couldn't write the end of term exams and the doctor gave me a doctor's report and I took it to school. So I was pardoned for that semester and promoted to the next year. So form three, it continued. But now figure A was okay with me because we were approaching the wasi time and I was learning with her every evening. So I'll be like, what is the reason why you were not talking to me? And she'll be like, no, it's nothing. Just forget about everything. I'll be like, okay. So I also, I was thinking about them stars because it's happened again. It's happened again. Whenever figure B will see me with figure A, she will also come there. And whenever she comes there, oh, this thing continued. And um, um, right after school, I mean, our results came out. I mean, the university with that same results but i think i could have done better if i had focused on what i was taught in class and not that extra classes and that extra classes is what i was thinking about because it was a whole three credit hour lesson <laughs> viewers apologize i'm continue i was thinking about it almost every day so um we completed school and i'm still in touch with figure a so we completed school and i was having a conversation with figure a at that time and i was like why wait where all these things happening because i now have seen it as it was a drama then figure a was like Oh, okay, so these things happened because figure B came to tell me all these things A, B, C, D, E And I was having sympathy for her So I decided I just decided to be with her just for her to be happy and I was like, oh, all right fine So all these things that were happening were from figure B. Oh, then that's fine Because I, I, I had already had that mind that it was all the cause of figure B due to some actions of her. So, um, I just decided to shun everything and then move forward. So I'm not moving. <laughs> so because those watching and I've gone through the situation will understand me perfectly because it's a whole lot. It entails a whole lot. You'll be thinking you'll not be okay is a whole lot so the lesson i want us to draw from this story i'm i will say it's a story or the lesson i will want us to draw from this drama <laughs> is that never give your all to a friend though we have some genuine and legend friends there i have genuine and legend friends of course yes but never give your all to friends have in mind that anything can happen at any time okay so make yourself happy don't depend on other people to make you happy because they can disappoint you at any 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 time so if you're watching this video and you want to um abstain from all these things taking friends and those shit about it you can just subscribe to my youtube channel and in fact you've watched the video from the start all this time and you've still not subscribed to my channel like i don't get it i just don't get it you have to explain to me at the comment section because i don't understand please kindly subscribe to my channel okay you guys have been doing amazingly well because because of school i'm not that consistent on youtube but at least I've had some subscribers of late, which I'm very grateful for. So please continue to subscribe to my channel and like for me, okay? And comment, because your comments are so dear to me. Your comments are so dear to me. Whenever I'm reading your comments, I feel happy. So comment and let's interact at the comment section. Yeah, let's interact. What is this? Let's interact, okay? And we can become friends through there so please that is my lesson i've learned you can also deduce a different lesson from the story i just told you okay so please let's meet on another video love you all as i said no strings attached okay so 
nobody should do no bazingi in the comment section okay <laughs> see you later love you